Ready for snake season? Better be because the valley is home to some of the most venomous. And they might just be slithering around sooner than you think, thanks to our rain chances and the fact that they're ready to eat. Uh, there are ways to prepare, though, so you can uh, reduce your chances of running into one. ABC 15's Lexi Suter breaking down what you need to do now in tonight's Taking Action event. This right here is a speckled rattlesnake. Two of them, they look different. That pinkish one, that one will be found on Camelback Mountain and the grayish white found on South Mountain. They blend in so you can't see them, but the venom could kill you. And they're not the only kind of snakes you should be watching for. We have more species of rattlesnake in Phoenix, the Phoenix area than anywhere else in the country. Seven of those species are deadly, but expert Brian Hughes says they don't have to be dangerous. A lot of it's just about not doing something. The most common to watch for is the Western Diamondback. You may see him in your garage or backyard. Then there's the black-tailed rattlesnake, typically calm. The Mojave, which is easily rattled. The Sonoran Sidewinder, found mostly in flat areas of the desert. And the tiger, a secretive snake who likes to hide. These are all defensive animals. They're not something that has any interest in coming after you. But when they do, it's because you've hit their hiding spot. Hugh says that's why staying the path is so important. If you're climbing and you're sticking your hands into rocks as you're going up and you're not paying attention, that's a great time to put your hand on a rattlesnake, especially near uh, sunup and sunset. Those are times that people see the rattlesnakes the most. If they bite, don't panic. You have more time than you think. If you get bit on a trail somewhere out here, you call 911, you go to the doctor. You know, it's going to be expensive, but you'll be fine. Don't try to do anything yourself. Usually around March is when snakes like to come out of their hiding spot, which is typically your garage or pool equipment. But again, rain chances could speed that process up. So I've put a list of tips on how to snake proof your home on our website with a link attached to this story. Reporting in Phoenix, Lexi Suter, ABC 15, Arizona.